Hi there, this is Karen from Soul Shimmer Designs and my project for today is adding this cute vinyl decal onto a dry snow globe acrylic tumbler. I'm an epoxy free crafter and normally with these snow globes they are sealed with UV resin at the bottom to keep the liquid in but I avoid using UV resin but you still get a really cute effect with this as a dry snow globe. So what you'll need for this project is a double walled acrylic tumbler. Just remove the lid, we won't be using that. And you'll also need a hot fix tool to create the hole at the bottom of the tumbler so that we can put our glitters and polymer clays inside. I use two types of glitters and I've just mixed in some small strawberry polymer clay shapes and some other sprinkle shapes and circles as well. And just to bring out all the colours of the polymer clay, I've used a, like a raspberry colour glitter and a white. And I've mixed those up into a cup. Now my hot fix tool is ready to go. And it's just a matter of pressing down onto the bottom of the tumbler until the hot fix tool has melted everything and it, you pull through into the bottom. And then you can quickly take it out. The next step is to add some painters tape around the bottom so that we don't make such a big mess when we're trying to insert all of the glitters and polymer clay. And it's just a matter of moving the snow globe around and kind of whacking it on the side to move all the glitters down so that it fills up this, all the spaces completely. Then to close off the hole that we made with our hot fix tool, it's just a matter of popping in some hot glue and just making sure that that hole is completely covered and that no more glitter can ex escape. Now we're on to the fun part of the decal and I've used the red mirror chrome, the ink black, the coconut white and the mirror chrome lime green. First up are the flowers and this is just going to be the border for the different coloured flowers that go around the decal all over the cup. So I'm just removing the middle pieces and the smaller circles there from the ink black vinyl and it comes off nice and easily with my weaving pen. I'm using my tweezers here just to insert the different coloured flowers so from the mirror chrome line and the Murachrome Red and also the Coconut White. I have some flowers in that colour as well. And it's, also, it's the flowers and it's also the circle bits in the middle just to keep the colour theme going through with the red, the green and the white. So I've peeled away the excess vinyl for the black background and also the mirror chrome red part of the decal and apologies I forgot to film that. So now the next step is to add on the white. So this is quite um, a detailed decal to do with the different layers. So there is a black layer, a red, a white and a green layer and you'll see that the smaller pieces there like of his shoes and the letters going on to the very good words have come off perfectly. And I'm finding now using my squidgy and kind of burnishing down the back back of the, the vinyl helps it to come off quite easily. The hands on this decal were quite detailed with the fingers being really small, small pieces. But I found it no problems at all with the transfer tape and transferring it over. There was one time I had to use my tweezers for one part but that was absolutely fine. Now I'm actually removing the eyes and the mouth and the nose from this strawberry as we need to insert the red mirror chrome layer of the decal now. So I'm just removing the excess from the words peeling and using my transfer tape and my squidgy and again 
pushing down with my squidgy to make sure everything comes off nice and easily. Then lining everything up onto the black background and then using my squidgy just to burnish it back down onto the black background. Then I can add in the eyes and the nose and the mouth again. And then there are two pieces from the eyes in the white, another layer I needed to add in to that one. Then the last layer is the lime green, the Mirachrome lime, and that makes up the rest of the letters in the Berry Good wording. And then there's the top of the strawberry. I messed that up a little bit, but it was easy enough to use my tweezers to move it around and get it exactly where I needed to. So now we're ready to add the finished decal onto the tumbler. I'm just using my squidgy again to burnish down the decal so it's easy enough to come off and with these acrylic tumblers there's a lot of markings on there so it's easy to find the center. I'm using my squidgy to apply that decal and that come, that just lays so nicely and perfectly. And the next thing to do to finish up is to add on each of the flowers. So because this had a border, I needed to apply each one of these with some transfer tape, which took a little bit longer. But then I think you can get more of a design idea and you have a bit more control over where the flowers go rather than doing a full wrap. And a full wrap is quite difficult with these non-straight tumblers. I'm almost done with the flowers and then we can see the finished product. I'm loving all the colours on this tumbler and as a dry snow globe I think it works really well with adding in the polymer clay pieces but the mirror chrome vinyl is just so shiny and this is actually taken on a very dull day so you can see even without any sunshine it looks super good. So thanks so much for watching this tutorial and if you have any questions please let me know and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you, bye.